in love with Pat's two cents. Here with a cup in my hand. For a purpose. There are two mindsets you could go into this year with. One is a pessimi a pessimistic mind. Two, or you could have an, a positive mind. Now listen. This water that's in my cup is literally at the halfway point. If I wiggle it a little bit, you might see the shadow of the water moving right in this line here. Well, let me tell you. Some of you will look at this cup and say, Ah, that cup is half empty. Some of you will look at it and say, Hmm, no, it's half full. You decide how you're going to go through life by your perspective. You can be negative if you want, but it's much easier to go through life and life's trials, excuse me, and minor annoyances with the positive perspective than with a negative one. With a negative perspective, you're always waiting for the axe to fall. With a positive perspective, you're wondering, what's God going to do with this? Oh, I got to see him work here because I can't do anything with it. And you even maintain your joy and your sense of humor and your hope, your faith remains very much alive. But when you're pessimistic, your prayers might go like, "Well, oh Lord, I, I, you know, I, I don't know if you can do that or not. I don't even know if you want to bless me there, but you know, would you please look down on me and would you please just just give me a little a little a, a little smidgen?" Mm -mm. Mm -mm. positive thinking people their prayers are big that's why when God told Abraham I'm, I'm trying to make a point here move this loud mic hang on I'm trying to make a point here when God took the people through the wilderness when he led them through it by Moses uh, excuse me let me go back when he showed Abraham the blessing that was ahead of him remember he told Abraham, as far, check this out, and I say to you, as far as your eyes can see, that have I given to you. How far can your eyes see? How big is your imagination? How large are your desires and aspirations? Or how small and limited are they? It has nothing to do with what happened back then. It has nothing to do with how many times you failed. Now I'm not talking about living in sin and just doing your thing. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a person is really trying to, to keep a relationship going with God really trying to get to know him and his ways and function accordingly through life. I'm, I'm talking about people like that that are really trying. Now, if you sit there and you go through life and you aim, I'm going to share this with you. You aim and you have a bow and arrow. Check, check, check this out. Don't leave me now. You have a bow and arrow. When it seems like life and people, listen to this, because I'm trying to build your hope up. I had, I had to build my hope up with the same scenario. You have a bow and arrow in your hand. The further back you pull that, that, that string, the arrow, the further back you pull it, and the higher up you aim, you keep pulling and pulling, and life does that to you. It pulls at you, and sometimes it makes you feel like everything is just pulling you back. You can't get forward for being pulled back. Well, when God commands that thing to be let go, guess what? That arrow's going to shoot faster, higher, further. Because you 
aimed high even though you were being pulled back. Mindset, perspective, how are you looking at it? How far can your eyes see? Now there's a scripture in Isaiah that says, I has not seen, neither ear heard, nor has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for us. Now, we can imagine as far as possible, thank God that he can see ad infinitum. However, the further we see, the larger the possibilities. Stretch your eyes. Create your own horizon. And go for it, baby. When life gets through shoot, pulling you back, you know you're headed for your blessing. When God catapults you forward, God bless you.